Hi everyone, it's Nancy and I'm back. I know it's been quite a few months since I made a video. I apologize for that to all the subscribers I already have. Uh, thank you for sticking around and being patient with me. And I want to thank you to all the new subscribers to my channel. I really appreciate it. The reason why I've been gone for quite a few months is basically the pandemic. I know it's affected a lot of people in different ways and it's affected me too. And I was doing pretty well like two months into, the, into lockdown um, earlier this year. And then all of a sudden, you know, I became concerned and preoccupied with worries I had um, and concerns and my mojo just left and I <laughs> it hasn't been around for a while and it finally kind of made an appearance about a month ago and it's slowly coming back so I hope it's here to stay for a while so I have a little project here to um, share with you today and I call it the Library Pocket Wallet. I saw the project on a online store that I buy from once in a while. It's called a Cherry on Top. And they had a little um, section there called Projects. And one of those projects was this, this wallet, which is the size pocket that they give a template for on this one and then this one is a smaller version which is my own version of the project I changed it up only slightly because I wanted to add tabs to my cards which meant that I had to score make the score lines different so that to allow to to allow for the tabs at the top of the journal cards so let me just show you um, this one and it opens up like this and you have four library card pockets with journal cards in them and these I just um, uh, cut them out from the paper collection and I uh, Ugh, collage them. I sewed on them. I added a um, fussy cut flower, a cloth tab, and a Tracy Fox label. And on the back I just stamped and colored in with distress crayons. A little color in there. And each one's a little different, but basically the same thing. And let me find my camera here. I thought this would make a really good gift for someone. They could use it for actually writing down thoughts and use the journal cards. They could use it to store notes. They could use it for um, photographs, putting photographs on the back. So there's, there's a lot of uses for this. You could also, I, said, I thought it would be a good Happy Mail project as well so that's the larger one and this one is my design not much different just a smaller pocket and a smaller cover of course and then these journal cards I made from um, some scrapbook paper and then I embellished them a little bit with washi tape and a Tracy Fox label, and then some collage on the back. So there's a lot of um, different ways that you could use these pockets. You can put journal cards in them, photographs, notes, whatever your creativeness takes you. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the description box below for a template for this size 
wallet and I will put the link to the original project which has a template for this size library card pocket and today I'm going to show you how to basically put it together and you know score the pockets and put them together and then uh, how to score the um, the cover. Next thing I wanted to show you the templates. Um, I'm going to turn it this way because it fits in the camera view better. This is the JPEG for the smaller library um, card, library pocket and journal card. And then there's a second page which gives you the measurements for the covers and the score lines. And there will be both a PDF and a JPEG available um, with, in different links below. And then of course there'll be the link to the original project. And this is the pocket template for the original one that came from that store a cherry on top. So I'll put those links in the description box below so you can cut out the template and um, make this yourself. Um, one more thing. The, what I did was, or what you can do, is scan. If you have a Silhouette Cameo, you can scan this into your computer and save it as a JPEG. When you open up Silhouette, you wanna um, just open up the file, the JPEG file, and then using your trace tool, you can make a cut file for this pocket and the journal card if you want. And you can fit four of these on a 12 by 12 piece of paper and run them through your Silhouette and they're all cut out so you don't have to trace and cut um, by hand. So those are the templates and here are, here's what I'm going to make with you today. I'm just basically going to show you how to put the pockets together. I'm not going to decorate the journal cards, but these are the journal cards I cut out from the paper. This was the back side. The back side of this paper had little journal cards on it and they happened to be just the right size for the pockets. And then I cut two out from the same paper collection but a different pattern. And then I punched some whale tail tabs to put at the top of the journal cards and you can get these tabs in my store. I carry them in my store. Um, not this particular pattern, but I carry um, a, a whole big variety of patterns and you can order them from my Etsy store in case you don't have a punch. So that's the journal cards. These are the pockets. You want to cut four pockets. And then you want a 12 by, uh, what's the measurement here? 12 by, I think it's 3 and 8, yeah. 12 by 3 and 8 piece of, um, you know, pattern cardstock or regular cardstock um, to use as a cover. So let me set this aside. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how I scored the pockets. I'm going to get my scoreboard out here. And basically what I did, my phone folder here, is I butted the side of the pocket up against the top. And then I would line up right where this flap and the, the top right where the back and the front of the pocket meet, right in that corner there. And I lined it up with one of the channels. 
on the scoreboard. Making sure that I kept it butted up against here to keep it straight. And then I just made a score line right down like that. I'll do another one just in case we need a second one. And just score right down like that. And that's all you need to do for that. And then I'll come back later and show you, after I show you how to make these pockets, I'll come back later and do the um, cover. And it doesn't fall. Um, by the way, just so you know, I have a cat. His name is Sam. And he, he likes to make his presence known. Um, he's... He has a very loud meow, and he's sleeping right now, but he might wake up in during this video, and I'm here by myself, so um, if he does, I might have to pause the video, and you might hear him meowing in the background. Just thought I'd give you a, a full warning there. Okay, so back to the pocket. You fold it to score line, and burnish that. And then to make these flaps, I took this bone folder. This one's quite thin, so it works real well. And just ran it down along the side of the pocket there. And I did the same on the other side. Then you fold them. And instead of folding them to the inside, you're going to fold them to the outside and glue. And you want to make four of those. I'm going to put these together and I'll be right back. So I'm making my last pocket here and I just thought I'd show you one flap. I'm using art glitter glue, but um, any type of white glue or uh, even fabric tack will work. And fold it up like that. It's a good idea to use your bone folder so you can get a nice crisp edge on everything. Okay, so I have my four pockets made. Now we want to put them together to fit in the uh, um, in the cover. Just putting the top on my glue. To do that, I used a strong double-sided tape. This is the soup wing uh, tape and Another type that I know about is this red line. This is a real strong double-sided tape. I believe Joann's um, carries a, a brand. I don't know the name of it, but um, anything strong like this will work. Uh, if, if you don't have tape, you can use glue. I would use like a white glue. Uh, that to me ensures a better bond than the um, Fabri-Tac. What you want to do is put your tape on the front of three of the pockets. And you only want us to, here, you only want to cover a small portion in the middle of the pocket, okay? So, let me put my tape on here. I'm going to use two pieces. This is a three-quarter inch tape. So, I'm aiming for the center here to center it a little bit. You may not even need that much. One piece might be enough. So 
little off center, but it'll still it'll be fine. Okay, so I'm gonna remove the tape. Or put your glue on. Take one pocket. And what I did is I, I stood them up like this to get a nice even match up on the bottom. And it's easy to match them up on the sides this way too. So there's one. And basically that is all it takes to put together the inside of your little wallet. And then just burnish that. Make sure things are stuck together well. So there are the pockets put together. Now we'll score the cover. What you want to do is choose which end you want to be the front flap. The flap that comes over the front like this and I decided I wanted this area so I'm gonna butt that end up against the left side of my board and then I'm gonna score at three three and a quarter seven and three quarters eight and then eleven and a half now i already rounded the corners um because i wanted it to match along with the round corners on this pocket but that's optional you don't have to do that so let me move my scoreboard and we're gonna fold and burnish lightly at each one of the score lines. I pre-scored this. Make it a little easier. And then this half inch at the end gets folded um, towards the side of the cover that's going to show. It's going to be like a little decorative flap like this one. So that gets folded in the opposite direction. Okay, so you have your cover done here and your pockets fit in like that and this folds over. And then you can add whatever kind of closure you want. A ribbon or a belly band, like the one I made for this one. I just took a strip, two strips actually. Of, I backed it with some card, some tag board to make it sturdier. And then I, when I had the strip, I scored where I wanted it to fold around the album. And then I added two small Velcro dots for it to close. And that's how that I made that belly band. So you can do that if you want. You can even make it go around this way, which would have probably made more sense to make it go around that way. Okay, so we're back to what the one we're making here and at this point you are gonna glue this flap to the front library pocket and then it's up to you you can leave this back open like this or you can glue the back of the last pocket to this back here that's up to you it's just a, a design feature that you may or may not, you know, want, whether it's open or closed. So I'm going to take some fabric fix and I'm just going to glue the front for now. 
then spread your glue on. Put the top on so we don't have Mount Vesuvius glue coming out all over. And then just when you're putting this together, just make sure these pockets butt up against that third score line there to make it nice and square. And then turn it this way to make sure that you're getting it centered. Like that. That's why I like using the fabric fix for this stuff because then it gives me a little wiggle room to work with. All right. So now your wallet is done, basically. Um, and see how it works? Like this, it pulls apart like this. You got lots of room in there. So let's take one of the journal cards, if I can find them. I know I set them aside. Oh, here they are. And we'll put a tab on it. Take my glue. And this is a this bottle is at the very end. Sometimes I have to shake it down. And then just center your tab. Now you can use whatever you want for tabs. I like the whale's tail when I can use them. But I also like the, the fabric tabs. Those are fun too. I just wanted to do this to show you how it fits in the cover. Okay. I don't want to lose the pin. Uh-oh. Flying pin here. Sorry. Okay, there we go. So, this fits in like this perfectly. So when this folds over, there's plenty of room to allow for the tab. And there's your small wallet album. So that's the project. If you have questions, um, please comment and I'll be happy to answer them. Like I said, don't forget to download your PDFs, which are in the description box below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.